A special workout to honor a special trainer. CrossFit gyms across the world did the same workout today. WLWT's Natalie Clark shows us how it was on in honor of a woman who took her own life. Go so guys, keep it up. Labor Day is usually a day to relax, but not at CrossFit the tracks in Erlanger, Kentucky. Hundreds of people gathered there today and worldwide to show support for Becky Sefcik. It's called the Becky Workout, and it's happening across the country today in honor of a CrossFit trainer who took her own life one week ago. The goal is to prevent others from doing the same. I mean, she was close with so many people. CrossFit's not like a normal gym, and you come in, your trainer is the world that hour. And so a lot of the members were really devastated last week, and this is kind of a show of support that they're here for us. Friends say the 30 year old woman became a CrossFit instructor during her time in the Navy and quickly became a mentor and role model for women. The words that describe Becky the most are love. Becky is love. Passion. She had so much passion. Known for her big smile, friends say the lively, fun, and loving young woman showed no signs of depression or hit it well. They say Becky shocked everyone last Monday when the vibrant, healthy trainer took her own life. Those who trained with Becky decided to raise awareness about suicide prevention through what they all do best, train. Creating an event on Facebook for today's workout that quickly made its way around the world. Thousands of people worldwide doing this workout in her honor. She obviously had a network she could have reached out to. But she didn't know how to. So that's the goal of this: is to try and educate people and educate uh, families going through this. That, hey, there's a there's another option. I know that she's here, and I, I'll continue to live life for her, and be stronger in this sport for her. Um, not even just the sport, just life in general. Natalie Clark, WLWT News 5. Today's event raised money for Becky's family and the Wounded Warrior Fund in her honor. We have details on our website on how you can donate.